A tragic ending to a family outing this holiday weekend. Tonight, we are learning new details about what led up to an accidental shooting at a gun range that left a teenager dead. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from the spot where it happened in Sarasota. And John, this sounds like just a freak accident, but my heart breaks for this family. It's absolutely horrifying, Jen, and that's exactly what it is, a horrifying tragedy that could have happened to anybody. The father, William Brumby, was an experienced shooter here at High Noon Guns, and I'm told that really he didn't have much time to react before accidentally pulling that trigger. Friends of 14-year-old Stephen Brumby tell News Channel 8 the young man loved music, loved the Lord, and loved his family. Sadly, he was the victim of an unfortunate accident. The worst possible thing could possibly happen happened. On Sunday afternoon, he joined his father, William Brumby, at the High Noon Gun Range in Sarasota. Officials say Brumby was shooting when a shell casing ricocheted off a wall and landed near his neck. Naturally, you would put the gun down, shake it off. Uh, the hand came back with the gun still in it. Flick the bullet off, or the uh, shell casing off. Accidental discharge and it struck his son. Stephen Brumby was shot and he soon died from his injuries. There isn't anything we could have done. There isn't anything anybody could have done to stop this one. The Brumbies were regular visitors here. William Brumby was very familiar with handling guns and extreme safety measures are enforced at this range. He was a good guy teaching his kids the right thing the right way. This family is loved and respected by many. Their pastor at Remnant Church wrote this statement. His death is tragic and overwhelming for all of us. While we know that he is at home with our Lord, we as a church family are left to grieve, to love, and to hope. Stephen Brumby's life ended far too soon. The case is still under investigation, and at this time, no criminal charges are expected to be filed, Jen. What about changes at the gun range? Anything coming in that regard? Well, they looked over their safety procedures, they looked over the video, and they've gone over the range, and they feel no changes are needed to be made. All signs point to this is just a freak accident, Jen. And such a tragedy. John Rogers, live in Sarasota tonight. Thanks, John.